from our first breath to our last. Each of us tells a unique story with our life. According to her family, Miss K was full of joy and laughter. She had a positive spirit and a smile that could brighten your world on the darkest day. Let us take this moment of silence to honor and celebrate the life of Miss K. Friends, that was the moment of silence that we recited for Ms. K, an organ donor, just before our specialized thoracic adaptive recovery team, our STAR team, recovered her organs for transplantation. What was unique about Ms. K is that for our STAR team, she was the 1,000th heart and lung recovery case for our team. Today, I'm all dressed up. I got a black tie on. To honor and celebrate the life of Ms. K and all those individuals that have given the ultimate gift of life after death through organ donation. In life, Ms. K gave her smile to brighten the world. In death, she gave her organs to give others a second chance at life. What is your story? My story began in a small village town in New York called Brooklyn. The son of West African immigrant parents my dad would say that I was made in the USA. <laughs> Growing up, I loved art, basketball, computers, and dreaming about the future. I even wrote a book about the future when I was 12 years old. Through grit, great parents, the discipline of Catholic elementary and middle school, outstanding teachers and mentors, whole lot of luck and divine intervention. I became a doctor and a surgeon and joined the Navy. And it was in the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul at the University of Minnesota where I trained to become a cardiothoracic surgeon and developed my passion for heart and lung transplantation. Because you see, in Minnesota, we did a lot of transplants, a lot. And by the end of your training as a cardiothoracic surgeon at Minnesota, you either love transplants or you never, ever wanted to see another transplant for as long as you lived. Why? It's the life of a heart surgeon that does transplantation is hard. Early mornings, long days, late nights, Often working on weekends, through holidays, missing birthdays and special events. I love transplants. <laughs> Did I say that? I love transplants. I still do. Because with each case, I feel as if I'm part and participating Miracle, a miracle of life. In thoracic surgery, we all stand on the shoulders of giants. Over the past 10 years, I've stood on the shoulders of three giants, my mentors, Dr. Preben Brendenhoff, Dr. Toby Cosgrove, and Dr. Bob Higgins, to develop star teams. My career has given me an opportunity, a gift, to develop my passion for heart and lung transplantation into a purpose, a purpose to solve a huge problem. Here's the problem. With hearts and lungs, we only have four to six hours 
once the organ is recovered, to implant it into the patient that's waiting. With the kidneys, we have two days. With the liver, we have 12 hours. That means once a heart or a lung is recovered from a patient like Ms. K, every second counts. Every second counts. When a transplant center is unable to send the team out to recover an organ, an organ could potentially be wasted and a life is lost. In 2018, on Christmas Day, a front page article of the Washington Post read, Lives Lost, Organs Wasted. Lives Lost, Organs Wasted. The mission of Star Teens is to solve this problem. In talking with my mentor, Dr. Preben Brendenhoff, we realized that our Star Team solution our innovation could address many of the problems outlined in the article. We could ensure that lives are saved and organs are never wasted. How? Think of STAR teams as a special ops of thoracic transplantation. A team of experts dedicated to the evaluation and surgical recovery of a heart or lung for transplantation adapting to serve the specific needs of the transplant centers we work with, leading a team of professionals to do very important work, all in an effort to save a life. Here is a transplant star team in action. We just got the call from the uh, coordinator early in the day. We had a heart offer for one of our recipient patients needs a new heart. So I'm heading out to the hospital now, uh, very early hours of the morning. It's going to be a long day because we have to travel south, uh, out of state to go pick up the heart, make sure it's going to be a good match for our recipient and bring it back to the other team that's going to be working to put it in with this, uh, this tragedy of someone passing away and becoming a, a donor, they're uh, giving a great gift to somebody that's in need, and a few people for that matter. And uh, in our case, we, uh, we're gonna be uh, involved with uh, bringing somebody a new heart today. It's a good thing. Transplant surgery is uh, very exciting. It's one of those professions where you uh, deal with life and death every day, every case. Someone tragically uh, becomes a donor because of a trauma, some unfortunate mishap. And on the other end, as a patient, it's going to receive a great gift of life, a miracle, a life-saving organ. It's exhilarating. It's stressful. And at times, it's uh, it's unlike any other experience uh, that one could ever have in healthcare. It's such a gratifying feeling to know that among all of the people that are involved and necessary to make this happen, the physicians, nurses, doctors, coordinators, we can play a small part. Today, there are two star teams. One on the West Coast, led by Dr. Preben Brendenhoff, and one on the East Coast that I'm a part of. What you saw in that video was a special operation in thoracic transplantation, a special ops of thoracic transplantation, a team dedicated to the evaluation and surgical recovery of hearts and lungs, and in that case, a heart, adapting to serve the specific needs of the center we were working with, leading a team of professionals to do important work. The recovery of a precious gift, a heart, for a waiting recipient to save a life.
Over the past 10 years, our STAR teams have worked with over 25 heart and lung transplant centers in North America. And we have recorded over 1,000 heart and lung recoveries. What we've learned in over 1,000 cases is this. We help make transplant centers better at what they do. And we accomplish three things. One, we help to increase the number of heart and lung transplant cases that the centers perform. Two, we help make the outcomes of the heart and transplant cases that are done at those centers better, improving the outcomes. And three, we help to lower the cost of heart and lung transplantation. Here is data from one of the 25 heart and lung transplant centers we have worked with. In 2012, the STAR teams were introduced to this center. In a very short period of time, the number of cases performed by that center increased significantly. By 2016, that heart transplant center performed 18 heart transplants for the year. In 2012, they only performed seven. During that same period of time, not only did they increase the number of heart transplants that they performed, with the majority of the hearts being recovered by the STAR team, but their outcomes improved as well. In 2016, in the calendar year of 2016, of all 18 hearts performed, all 18 heart transplant cases, all 18 lives, there was not one case of primary graft dysfunction identified. What does that mean in English? We didn't lose any hearts. We didn't lose any hearts. STAR teams also help to reduce the overall cost of heart and lung transplant cases by bringing together efficiently and effectively the complex transplant puzzle pieces of communication, logistics, and technology, including our exciting work now, using our data to do predictive analytics using artificial intelligence and machine learning to better evaluate organs for transplantation. All in an effort to bring together comprehensively an expertise to deliver the right solution to the right patient and transplant center at the right time. Our vision for STAR teams is that someday, very soon, we will be able to do what is considered now impossible and make it possible. Routinely, on a regular basis, recover a heart or a lung from a donor on the West Coast and transplant it to a recipient waiting on the East Coast and everywhere in between. All in an effort to save lives and ensure that organs are never wasted. Transplant surgery has brought me on the edge of death and life with every case. Every donor's story is often very tragic. Each one fills me with a sense of deep gratitude and appreciation, not only for my life, but it helps me to appreciate even more my wife, my son, and my daughter with every case. Because I know that at any moment, time, chance, and circumstance could change your world. In this amazing story of our lives, every chapter matters. Every chapter counts. Every chapter contributes to the fabric of your life. I know in my own life, that 12-year-old kid from Brooklyn that loved art, basketball, 
and computers and dreaming about the future. Wrote a book about the future <laughs> called Star Patrol. In that book, a 12-year-old Hassan, seen here, <laughs> reluctantly holding the hand of his mother, <laughs> described a hero crime fighter that solved the problem to save the world. Today, that kid from Brooklyn is a little bit older, is a heart and lung transplant surgeon, is part of a star team working every day to make the impossible possible and save the world one patient at a time. From our first breath to our last, each of us tells a unique story with our life. Everyone, take a breath. Feel your heartbeat. Feel your heartbeat. <laughs> there must be a reason you are still alive. Back on Earth, what will be your story, and your story, and your story, in life, and after death?